click the like button on Dad and me. What is it? What could it be? I don't know. Could it be a Mora Blade Sharpener by All American Sharpener? Hell yeah. I will say I love how it's packaged. I mean, it's solid. It's built for this. Um, got all the hardware and everything else. And all I need to do is mount it. And I'll do that here in a second. So I just got back. I have my um, sharpener. One thing they don't give you is mounting bolts. So I had to figure out what mounting bolts I wanted to use. All right, so this is the setup that I'm gonna be using. Basically, they are 5 16 by 18, and then they're one and a half, one and a half inches long with these T-nuts. And uh, what these do, these go into the wood on the back side, and then when you screw it in, it tightens everything down. So that should work perfectly. I don't like that. Not bad. It's far enough away. I can leave this here. It's not gonna get bumped. I think that'll be good. What's cool about that is, on this side, you have the threaded nuts. So when you put this in, it'll thread and keep everything in there. You just slide that bad boy on, and you tighten it. You're actually tightening the bottom, that nut, you're actually tightening it even harder into the wood. All right, that's good. Now, this thing is good to go. All right, and as I was saying before, I can have this laid down like this. This is not even on here. This is my buddy's, and it's not in the way. It's not in the way if I'm trying to roll something past or do anything, this thing is not in the way at all. So that's exactly why I wanted exactly where I put it. Also, if you look, see how tight that is now? Those things are just put, slammed together. So, there might be something you might think about when mounting these. That way you can take these off and you're not going into wood constantly or bolts. You can just have those threaded inlet in whatever you want to call them, T-nuts. They're good to go, ready to go. Awesome. You can tell that it's it's fixing it. I was way off. So I'm glad I have this. That right there, you can tell two different spots. That's the 30, that's the not 30. Now that is amazing. That's my side. That's what I did personally, hand doing it. That's their side. Oh yeah, is it worth the money? Yes, it is. I thought I was at a 30 degree. <laughs> I wasn't at a 30 degree, I was like I got a 45. Oh, so I took off a lot, a little bit too much. That's fine though, I like it sharp. Oh yeah, I got a new shirt, check it out. It's just one for myself. I'm not trying to sell, sell anything. Also, just so you don't lose the hardware, you can put the hardware back down into it. You don't even have to go tight. It's just keep it in there a little bit snug. It's good, it's flush. Not flush flush, but good enough. That way you don't lose them. And next time you need them, they're good to go. They're right there. Just to finish it off, I have a setup for over here that I might use some more. Cause that way when I'm filming, you can see the sparks. And then I have my setup over here, which is right here. So I got it set up in two different spots. 